put that into context. That's louder than a jet plane taking off. With sniping. Submission game. What? <laughs> So we'll take a look at the starting lineups, starting with the Grand Valley State Lakers. Mason Dox, Jalen Charity will fight for the opening tip. And Jacobson wins it. And we are off the first men's basketball game of the season in Mackey Arena. Inside, can't find anything. Kicks to Harris. Inside, Kaufman Wren. Tried to double team with GVSU, but Kaufman Wren puts it up and over for the first two points of the game. And early, trying to get the double team as they're kicking around the perimeter now. Charity. Got it for three. Jalen Charity with the opening points for GV. Docks, and they'll restart the offense. Docks gives to Alderink. Alderink hauls it for three. No good off the back iron rebound. Lawyer right elbow pushing. Gives to Kaufman Wren. Wren backing down Dunn and lays it in nicely off the right hand glass. Offense really nice from the Lakers. Smith. For three. Got it. Just a little bit of separation, but rebounded by Lawyer. Smith pushing up the floor. Kicks out. Jacobson lays it in. First point to Docks. Guarded by Harris. Back out to Dunn. Looking down the baseline. Kaufman Wren pulls him down. And a foul on Kaufman Wren. Docks. Guarded by Harris. He's so good on the ball. Double team almost came from Kaufman Wren. Docks in, can't lay it in with the left hand. Rebounded, doubled, gives to Kaufman Wren. Outside, Lawyer, three ball. Foul, did not get the three to go, but he will shoot three from the line instead. Lawyer hits his first from the stripe. Uh, getting the shot that he wants. Lawyer played in 39 games last season. Dakari Harris for three. No good, off the back iron. Almost rebounded by Kaufman Wren, but fouled by Trayvon Gunter. So come in here, getting the, getting the view of Mac Arena from the other side for the first time. So Purdue inbounds, Kaufman Wren, too physical to handle for Charles Turner in the dribble. Screen by Wren. Middle, Kaufman Wren in. Eight points in the early going for Trey. Kaufman to Burgess. Now Cox over to Lawyer. Trying to drive, but fouled by Trayvon Gunter. And he'll miss his first one as a floor. Count other than a practice, essentially. And so a great opportunity for Grand Valley State to, you know, by Burgess, kicks out to Dunn. Now Alderink at the top of the key, driving on Burgess. Can't quite get the layup to go, but Burgess did foul. And Alderink 0 for 2 in this game. Both of his tries have been... And Alderink hits the second, so two for two from the line. Successful trip. Mid-range, no good. Offensive rebound, Heidi. Kicks to the corner. Colvin for three. Got it. Good hustle on the offense. Back to Smith now, who's going to pull up for three. Can't get it off the back iron. Rebound, C.J. Cox. Up for two, and knocks down the mid-range jumper. That's 534 for the Boilers. Grand Valley State, oh, of their last seven. Had a, had a field goal in the last almost seven minutes. Docs charged hard at Burgess, missed the original, got his own re UMBC. Now Colvin gets separation from Charity and lays it in with the right hand on the finger roll. Bit of a mismatch, him against Charity. Gets him to jump, fade away, can't quite get it to go. Rebound, Colvin puts it back in. Purdue crashing. Miles Colvin in the Boilers lead by 19. The drive and the finish by Docs is fantastic. He's just going to the teeth of the defense. Now Heidi, left elbow. Almost forced a tie-up was Alderink, but it ends up again on Keedy's court as Cox will get some separation and pull up from the mid-range and knock it down. And Cox, uh, and, and we heard this week both Matt Painter and uh, Assistant coach Paul Lusk talking about the, the struggles on defense against Creighton and basically how they, they just didn't prove in good position. You see right there, Jakari Harris now with the breakaway. Harris is fouled on the breakaway by Charles Turner and he will head to the line for two shots. Georgia will get his two shots from the line and he will make his first. Trying to finish off his spot at the free throw line. And he hits the second. That's in this game. Had started against Creighton. 
Cox for three. He's got it. Right in the mouth of the defender. Berg, the seven foot two man from Stockholm, Sweden. That one's tipped out of bounds by Javion Otten, and it'll go out of bounds for a Purdue throw. Game. And now Cox to Harris for three. Knocked down. Too much space for Jakari Harris as he around floater to go. Rebounded by Harris. Can't get his to go. And that one will be off of first, and it will be GVSU basketball. As far, he's got four points and one rebound, but it's been a dominating Purdue performance to this point, but a knockdown shot from Trayvon Gunter looking to change the momentum. Yeah. Breaking the streak there, hoping to put a couple buckets here together as the Boilers just kind of been taking whatever they want offensively. Another shot there buried for the Boilers. The freshman, I mean, just anybody on the roster, it's a, a who wants to show up tonight is we're seeing a couple of guys do that here early on. Coxman short and right. Ball in hockey. Charity will miss his first from the Charity. Have to finish. Struggling early on at the free throw line. Charity hits his second. Gives to Waddell. Had an open look. Gives inside to first. Who drops it in with the left hand? Good ball movement from Purdue. Now docks. Looking for a little bit of space. Five on the shot clock. He's just going to take one from three. He's got it off the glass. Mason docks. Knocks it down. Smith getting a screen from Jacobson. Wanted the roll, out for first, for three, no good. Tried to rebound it, was Jacobson by the other Smith. Trying to fit through, mid-range, got it. Good turnaround, a little separation. And so now Charity spinning, driving to the lane, can't get it to go, Thompson rebound, and a foul is called on Purdue. Yeah, I think that Driving to the sideline. Good ball in. So a shot made by Charity ended up sticking. Oh, good. Caden Brown couldn't get it to fall, but it falls to Charity on the rebound. Charity gets it in over Jacobson. Good. Lawyer. Mid-range. Got it. The two is good for Fletcher Lawyer. Active hands, talking on the floor, staying in their defensive set. Trey Kaufman-Wren finishing things off offensively on the other end. Kaufman-Wren getting loose on the block. You're allowed to use your foot in volleyball. They do not allow you to use your foot here in basketball. Miscommunication on the switch, and Caden Brown with about the easiest bucket GVSU has had today. Smith gives to Colvin. Now inside Kaufman-Wren. Kicks out Lawyer. Wide open for three. On the elbow. Lawyer hits. Perhaps it was earlier. It looks like probably when he picked the dribble up. Kato. Brown hits his second. Yeah, the, the auto during warm-ups when this place was, was getting getting turned up. I haven't seen her either. It's been something you want to try to replace with Zach no longer being here is, is the made free throws and that discrepancy. And Lawyer is doing a nice job replicating that here this evening for the Boilers. I feel like it's a basketball tradition to make the shot that I'm out before you let the shot go. Smith goes two for two from the line. Sold on not letting Purdue take the last shot. Docks is his first of three. Docks hits his second. Grand Valley State shooting just over 70%. Now Docks trying to drive inside. Floater, nothing but air. And flops to the floor. Was just content staying out of the way and letting the ball go out of bounds. And the Boilers in the ball back. Two turnovers now in the second half for Grand Valley State. The first opportunity to get the ball up and in the air. Lawyer cut inside, couldn't get it. Jacobson got the offensive rebound and was fouled on the putback. So he'll head to the line. Not exactly the weight of the former Zach Eady. He's going to put on a little bit of weight. And after getting into a full calendar year of this boiler years, he came in kind of skinny, kind of looking more like Jacobson right now, but has put in a lot of work in the weight room as that's a three for Caden Brown from hit an early three early in the first half and then they weren't able to put together a whole lot else after that. Let's we'll see if they can play on that. Lawyer floater was no good, but Kaufman ran right there. Leader of your offense is also averaging almost six rebounds a game in Braden Smith and Kaufman Wren will pull it from three and he'll knock it down. Pushing it quickly. Now Lawyer looking for Smith. Gives inside to Jacobson. 
trying to get him touches against Alderink, and he fits it in on the right hand side of the point. Lawyer again inside to Jacobson, who's just getting pushed down there, and a foul will be called on William Dunn, who has had Lawyer, and they do. Pushing down the baseline, gives to Harris outside, cutting in. Kind of a funky floater as he was affected on the sh shot going up. Joff and stolen away by Smith. Here we go, Fletcher Lawyer driving in. Right-handed finger roll finish for Fletcher Lawyer. Not just in college basketball, but in Matt Painter's recruiting strategy, surely, as Lawyer pulls up from mid-range and knocks it down. 15. That puts him into a double-double, his 10th rebound. Lawyer inside of Jacobson, fighting with Aldrich. No good. Harris now pushing with pace. Going against Dunn, foul and one. Jakari Harris finishing in fat. Tap it off. And Harris makes it double digits on his total. Get the ball out of the situation. Berg gives to Cox and an offensive foul called on Camden Heidi for an illegal screen. Runter looking to just score here and he does and that breaks. Trevon Gunter hits his second from the line. And that's tough. Grand Valley State continuing to struggle in transition. They're able to get the ball. They're just not able to finish. Berg with the jam. Heidi got double teamed on the base. Range on the floor. Alderick driving. Rejected. But goaltending called as Berg just came in too late with call. First inside, Berg got the leverage and flushes it one more time. Another dunk for Big Will. Not defensively here this evening. He's, there's been a few times he's picked up. Grand Valley this week is finding the guys that are going to be the guys you can go to, the guys you can rely on. Every Laker has touched the ball this possession as Smith will just throw one up and rebounded by Berg. Looking for space. Gives out to Colvin for three. And he hits. Defender right in his face. Colvin hit it anyway. First inside to Berg. Back and down Bullware. Nice touch on the post hook. Let's stay on the floor. And Jack Venter hits from the line. Aki Arena. And he hits the second, so successful trip to the line. Boys are shooting 17 of 18, 94% from the free throw line here this evening. Kick out, good pass from Alderink, and Trayvon Gunter hits from three. Coffin Ren, it's paying off here this evening. I wish I was that smart. As first hits his second. Jakari Harris looking to drive, finishes with the left hand. Cut into an open lane, wide open for three. No good, off back iron. First is able to tip it out to Waddell, who is fouled on the way up. And it'll from Caleb First, going to be a kind of a glue guy for the Boilers here this season. Coming in, recruits from inside Indiana and really just getting the best out of them as he misses his second from the range. But here come the Boilers. Cox is stopped by Charity. Burgess got the leverage and it'll go out of bounds, but it'll. Charity for three. Got it. Right over Brian Waddell and Charity. And check. They struggled all year round last year as Cox hits his second from the line. Well, and the Boilermakers struggle on that trip down, boxing out and getting a rebound, and that's going to be a talking point as Burgess is able to finish that one off, but a talking point for the Boilermakers. Smith Jr. gets the screen from Thompson. Kick out for three. Gets it to fall. Charles Turner has been trying all night, and he got that one. Free throw attempts 25 and 26 on their way as Cox hits the something that Purdue has continued to be a staple of their offense in the way that they are able to. Now Davion Bullware stolen away by Cox. Cox going to look to hit it in. Bullware with a big rejection. And number nine, Jack Lusk. And GVSU can't get it to go. And nearly a jump ball caused by King. Israel, the number 32, a, a favorite walk on here amongst the Boiler faithful. They got excited when he got the ball, an opportunity to try to get that first basket. Fine, can't hit. Got it back. Thompson looking to 
Drive it home, no good. Rebound, still no good. Bulwer can't put it back. And Purdue sucks. Didn't got the ball back. A bizarre sequence of events is fine. Drives to the lane and hits the two with the right-handed finish. Yeah, fine into Smith Jr. looking to push. Gives back to Bulwer for three. No good. Just tumbling into the squirted out of his hands. Now Josh first. Lusk in the corner. Back to Fine. Fine for three. Got it. Downtown. Eric. To get it back in Trevor Smith. Wide open is Turner. Can't hit off right iron. Rebound King. Just dribble out the clock. But in the final exhibition game for both of these teams, the final score, 99 to 41. Purdue not reaching in and getting cheap fouls. And that's something to take away for, you know, for the game tonight. Again, more talent out, outmatched.